Hi everyone. So today I'm going to be doing a video about nail care. As you can tell I already removed my color street um, for today. But I'd like you to comment below this video on which set you think I should put on next. I'm going to be doing our either our Black Friday exclusive, which is Living the Gleam. It's like black with purple and holographic uh, glitter. It's really pretty. Or Juno the Drill, which is a fall shade from our fall catalog. And it is purple with silver glitter. Oh, actually, I think it's hieroglyphic. Graphic. Hi, bleh. It's a tongue twister for me to say. I don't know why I have such a hard time saying it. But um, one of those two sets. And then I thought I would do a retired um, Hugh Do Hugh Toozy with it. And then put um, the accent nail leftover of Prison Break, which was one of our exclusives. But if you love Prison Break, it is a clear glitter too that you can put over anything. Um, you could always grab a um, glitter sweet is still available, which is this one. Um, you can grab the glitter sweet still, which was a holiday shade this year, but it, like I said, it's clear background with just the silver glitter on it. So I was going to do that accent with one of those two sets, um, if you could help me decide. So for my basic nail care, I usually use um, this Hard as Hoof Nail Strengthening Cream. I keep it next to my bed and I put it on when I get up in the morning and then before I go to bed. But like with everything, I have peaks and valleys of times I do it and I haven't been doing that great of a job of remembering and I'm trying to get back into the habit of doing it again because I know that my cuticles are dry and my nails are not in the greatest shape as I had had them when I was using this all the time. Um, I also use, uh, keep a cuticle pen in my purse. So if I'm out and about and my cuticles look really dry, I can just pull this out and put some on when I'm out and about if I need to. And I just, it's refillable, so I have been using um, this Deja Vu Dead Sea Minerals uh, cuticle oil. But any cuticle oil, even just a straight oil of uh, like jojoba oil is really good for your nails. Jojoba is very uh, one of the most common oils that is recommended for keeping your nails healthy and strong. Um, sometimes I do take a day or so break between putting on sets but there are a lot of occasions where I don't where I take my nail polish off in the morning and then put it back on at night but sometimes if I'm having a hard time with my nails, I'll take a couple days break and use um, OPI Nail Envy Nail Strengthener, and it helps. But I know of a lot of stylists that use this um, underneath their nails. My only caution to you on that is is uh, that there are some stylists that have done it that um, have a hard time that their color street has does peel off after putting this under it but then there's other stylists that say I've never had that happen so I think it all depends on um, how hard you on your, are on your nails but it's I mean it's always something that uh, you could try if you feel like you need an extra strengthener under your nails um, and then the last thing I always use um, before putting on my next set is this instant cuticle remover. Um, I like it because I feel like it really uh, helps with um, making sure the cuticle is completely gone and I've had this bottle for I think close to two years and it's still like I've only used half of it. So because you only need a small amount I just go around and put a little bit on around where my cuticle is 
And I just let it sit for like 30 seconds to a minute. And this one says, it says on the back to, um, after 15 seconds, push back cuticles, watch excess thoroughly with warm soapy water. And apparently you can use this on calluses too, so if that's something that you also need, you can also use it for that too. Um, but yeah, I like using this because it really gets rid of um, the cuticle and not worrying as much um, about having to push them back. But you could also get in the habit of doing it while you're... Um, right before you get out of the shower after your cuticle is softened and just using your thumbnail and pushing your cuticles back all the time uh, I'm just not as good at remembering so now I'm just gonna take a wood stick and just push them back what I like about the instant cuticle remover it's made by Sally Hansen I could put a link to all these products in the description for you guys off of Amazon so you can pick them up too if you like them or want to try them um, what I like about it is that when I'm doing it also not only is it going to remove the cuticle but if you have an what they call an invisible cuticle like your cuticle goes up higher than most normal cut uh, people cuticles people's cuticles um, that it will also dissolve all of that but um, one thing I like about when I'm using it to push back mine is that because it's like a gel it gives it a little bit of um, like a lubricant to, for the wood stick to, to slide across so I just push them back like this I just have a cotton round here that I'm just wiping any excess off, any excess that's getting on the stick off, and then I'll use it to actually wipe. Wipe the nail off to get any excess off. Or you could just go wash your hands right away. Either way. I do notice that when I don't use this, I have a harder time pushing back my cuticle and um, making sure that they're not there that they seem to um, when I put on a new set that they uh, bump up or not bump up but they have like a ridge in it that it gets caught in my hair when they start growing out so and that's why I've gotten into habit of pretty much always using it before doing a new set I'm just wiping off all the excess so now all my cuticle is pushed back and good, and then I would just put some. You don't need a lot, just a little bit. Cuticle oil or cream, this cream. And I always put a put it starting at my first knuckle all the way up around my nail. Rubbing it in there. Like I said, I only do um, all this when I change my nail sets, but I always, not directly after I put on a new nail set, I don't um, do cuticle cream or wash my hands or cuticle oil. I usually wait. So I usually put my sets on most of the time right before I go to bed. And so I go to bed not putting anything on, and then when I wake up in the morning, I put cuticle oil on so you can still put the oil or the um, cream on before or while you have the strips on it's not going to affect them any as long as they're completely cured 
for you to, to go. So that is pretty much my nail care routine. And then tonight I will put on a new set, so make sure you leave in the comments if you want Juno, you can put a J in the comment, or um, Living the Gleam, an L for Living the Gleam, on which set you think I should put on next. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can see more nail care tips, or applying tips, um, tricks, or come join my Facebook group for other fun games and a community to hang out in. I'll put all the links in the comments. Have a nice day.